five surging techniques that will be complete game changers. Hello darlings, welcome to my channel where we talk everything sewing. So today I have prepared my best five surging tips that will help elevate your surging game to the next level. So tip number one is how to quickly change serger threads. This is my best tip ever and if you stop watching the video right now after this tip or if this tip is the only one you apply after watching this entire video you will still have learned so so much and this will be complete game changer so here's what you want to do when you have the serger threaded you want to snip the threads right after they are hanged so they keep hanging then you take the old cones you take them away and replace them with the new cones then you tie the ends of the serger cones and the serger threads. Then reduce the tension to zero and slowly start pulling the threads one by one until all threads are changed. Trim the excess threads, restore the tension and here you have it, your threads are effortlessly changed. And the best thing about this technique is that you eliminate the risk of making threading mistakes which causes like 99 surging problems. This technique actually works, so try it out and then come back to this channel and let me know how you like it. So number two, so when you're surging and you're moving towards that inner corner, here's what I want you to do. I want you to take clippers or scissors and just clip the seam allowance about one millimeter left to the seam allowance line. Then I want you to straighten out the fabric so it's neatly in one straight line and continue to search till the end of the seam. With this technique you get a sharp looking nice corner and it's not rounded, it's really sharp, very nice and this is a technique that you can start applying instantly and get beautiful results. Number three, so this is how you want to finish your serger seams. If you just cut the serger seam once you're finished, you know that the threads start to untangle and it gets a bit messy and plus it does ruin the neatness of the garment and it does reduce the seam strength because it just might start to fall apart, right? So here's what you need to do instead. When you're surging and you're moving towards the end of the seam, I want you to drive the fabric away and search about five to seven centimeters leaving a thread tail. Cut the tail, take a big dull needle with a big eye, push that thread tail through the eye of the needle and then pull the thread tail back to the seam. Trim excess threads and that's it. This way the seam is very neatly finished, it looks very clean and professional and plus it won't fall apart. I use this technique to finish all circular seams like for example collar, cuff, hem and something like that. Alternatively if you don't have a big dull needle you can use a croquet hook and achieve the same effect. If you're enjoying the video so far, please hit the like button. I'm a small creator, so anytime you engage with the video by commenting or liking the video, it does help me achieve more people and I think that they could use learning more about these techniques. So please hit the like button if you're enjoying the video so far. Okay, so fourth tip that I want to tell you today is how to save on surging threads. So if you have been surging for quite a while, you know that those serger threads keep piling on, right? So here's what you want to do instead. If you're working with some very specific color and you know you won't be using that color again anytime soon, I usually just buy one cone and then wind extra bobbins from sewing machine and thread the serger with those bobbins. This way you're saving money plus you're being resource cautious and your sewing is more sustainable. Fifth tip I want to tell you today is that you need to have clear elastic tape if you like to search. So clear elastic tape helps stabilize the seam and prevents it from stretching out. I especially like to use it on the shoulders because shoulders, especially on knit fabrics, are cut on the angle and once they get any kind of stretch from wearing out, they might just stretch out and not return to their original shape. However, if you add the clear elastic tape, it stabilizes the seam and prevents it from stretching out and plus it's not visible from the outside of the garment. For example, here you cannot see any, any kind of tape even though it is added into this dress. 
guys. Clear elastic tape is very cheap. I will link a few options down below in the description box and it's very very useful item to have especially if you like surging a lot knits. To sew the clear elastic tape simply put it under the presser foot when you're surging or a lot of sergers actually have a hole in the foot which is dedicated specifically for this purpose so just push the clear elastic tape through this hole and start surging effortlessly. So here are my five best surging tips that will help you elevate your surging experience to the next level. But I mentioned in the beginning of the video that I will have a bonus tip for you if you stick to the end of the video, so here it is. If you don't have a cover for a serger, you can use grocery store bag. For example, I use grocery store Lidl bag and I cover my machine before putting it to the closet for storage. This way I prevent the machine from dust, thread tangling and etc. and dust protection the machine. I always say use what you have with sewing and that's kind of the best example of how to do it. I want to thank you today for watching the video. If you liked it please hit the like button and leave a comment with your best serger tip. Thank you again for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!